uh, today. Uh, I'm Said Turkseler. Uh, I'm project manager at Meta. I'm part of like Meta's open mapping community team. Today I'm joined with Yunzi and we are presenting today. Yeah, hi, I'm Yunzi. I'm quality analyst at Meta for Meta Maps. And yeah, this is our quick agenda today. So a quick introduction, problem definition, and then I'll be covering also methodology and I will be handing over to Yunzi for QA implementation and then also for conclusion the pre uh, concluding the presentation. So in the introduction, we have a map overview and then how to map Lurie and then uh, map is map data extraction capabilities. And simply map is a street level imagery platform that scales and automates mapping. And we have a contributor of metrics, uh, contributor network and partners, and they're uploading imagery to Mapillary and then we run uh, object detection and 3D construction uh, from those images. And then we are extracting map data. And it's quite simple to uh, capture and upload imagery to Mapillary. You can use any camera, uh, smartphone, action cameras, dash cam, and also mobile mapping equipment. And then you can use desktop uploader and then Mapillary tools or smartphone to upload uh, your imager to Mapillary. The only requirement that image needs to be geotagged. And once the imagery will be uploaded to uh, Mapillary, so as, as I mentioned that we run sem uh, semantic segmentation to understand each of the object uh, of the each uh, image, and then also generating 3D model from the structure for motion. And then after that, we are positioning each object uh, on the 3D model. So globally, we extract uh, 42 street assets, and then more than uh, 1,500 uh, traffic signs are uh, can be extracted from Mapillary. Cool. So basically, it sounds so simple. You capture, you upload imagery, and Mapillary does the magic, and then you extract imagery. But the question is like, how is the quality of those extracted map data? Today, we are going to talk about what is the quality of Mapillary extracted data in terms of uh, recall, position, and then positional accuracy, as well as we are going to compare uh, existing OSM traffic sign data against uh, Mapillary uh, traffic sign extraction. And in this talk, we are going to only focus on the stop sign. Uh, this is where we uh, did an experiment on the stop sign in San Francisco, uh, Bellevue, and Redmond area. And all, all the following analysis and the results will be uh, related to a uh, stop sign. Cool. I will simply cover our methodology. So we have four main pillars, data collection, data processing, data analysis, and data ingestion in our methodology. And we collected ground truth data, literally, uh, with the survey, surveying methods to understand uh, what is the quality of machine generated data. And we collect street level imagery using GoPro Max camera. And we upload all the imagery to Mapillary and then Mapillary extract traffic sign for us. And then after we do like pairing, we link all the ground truth data with corresponding um, truck stop sign and then usable go into deeper into our QA implementation. In the end, we calculate our recall position uh, for our machine extracted data, as well as posi uh, position accuracy, and also we run analysis on the OSM coverage when it comes to like slope science. In the end, we complete uh, all the data which is existing on OSM with the uh, mapping generated data, and then we um, contributed to OSM. All right, I will hand over to uh, Yunzi. Okay, thank you, Sai. Um, so to implement the methodology, <clears throat> Sai just mentioned that we start, we designed these workflows. Um, so we start with from few words to collect ground truth data and street level imagery. And then we process the street level, uh, level imagery using seaweeds, um, Mapillary developed, and then generate the map data such as traffic signs. And then we build internal QA tooling to pair the ground truth data and the mapillary generated data together. So it can verify the accuracy of the mapillary generated data. Um, we have the query results that, which is the, the accuracy results about the mapillary generated data. Um, currently we completed the ground truth data with OSM data and we pushed the OSM. But what we plan to do is we conflate both the ground truth data and the mapillary generated data referring to the query result, which is the 
uh, accuracy verification result, and then conflate with OSM and push the data to OSM. So this slide shows the, the verification results that we have. Um, on the right side, you can see how the MapLogran data look like in red and how the ground truth data look like in, in blue. Um, so our res results here shows that uh, we have a relatively high recall for the stop sign, the, the MapLogran generated stop signs uh, in all the area of interest. Um, however, we have relatively low precision uh, for, for the MapLogran generated data. We did uh, further investigations on why the position is relatively low, and we find out that's uh, likely to be caused by the temporary traffic signs that we see on the road because of construction, um, or possibly caused by some missing ground truth data. Um, but the positional accuracies is all within, they're all within three meters, so it's relatively good in our opinion. Um, since we are con considering to push to add the data to OSM, we also check the OSM stop sign coverage. And we find out uh, currently on OSM, um, among all the area of interest, like the Bellwood downtown, Redmond, and San Francisco downtowns, the OSM coverage against ground truth data, um, plus the OSM coverage against the mapillary data, it's pretty low, which means that both, like both shows that OSM is missing a significant amount of stop signs. So we have a project recently that added the stop sign up to over 200 intersections in San Francisco, Bellevue, and Redmond downtown. So with this experiment, um, it's, it shows that we can actually, the mapillary can actually generate that object, uh, which is a mapillary uh, made data with like over 95% uh, on average of the recalls with 2.5 meters of average horizontal uh, position accuracy for stop signs. Um, we actually implemented these experiments on yield side in pedestrian crossing as well. And that gives us uh, 2.16 meters of uh, average horizontal position accuracies, which means that more data that it proved that we are, we could do even better jobs. And our stop sign data, um, the experiment also shows stop sign data on OSM's incomplete. Um, the previous charts that are detailed that um, there are in between 70 to 90% data missing of stop sites on OSM. Um, and the entire experiments also prove that street level imagery and map blurry generated map data actually play an important role to help completing the missing traffic science infrastructure on OSM. In the future, we're planning to improve the horizontal positional accuracy of map blurry generated map data using control points. Um, we also plan to expand our conflation work to wider map generated map data, so not just stop sign or USI and pedestrian, but any traffic signs or other uh, map generated data as well. And we plan to develop a better conflation strategies between the map generated data and OSM data. But currently it's really, it's not universal, it's, quite local in terms of a conflation strategy for the stop signs. Um, so we plan to expand it to more universal approach and apply to make them more applying to different variety of data. Um, we also plan to build the easier workflows for ingesting the mapillary uh, data, generated data to OpenStreetMap through Rapid. Um, yeah, that's all, thank you. Thank you very much.